Hey everyone, and welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm back with a video I've never done before, a different video than usual. I'm gonna be doing a bridal shower hosting vlog, host a bridal shower with me video. This weekend, my mom and I are hosting my sister's bridal shower. I'm so excited, so exciting that this weekend is her bridal shower. Like that's just such a big event. I just want it to be amazing and like everything that she's dreamed of. My mom and I have been working hard over the last few months, try to make her vision and dream come to life. Hopefully I can kind of share some tips, how we are hosting her, some of the stuff that we got. If you're hosting Hosting a shower or something and you're not really sure where to start hopefully this can be helpful we kind of started planning things out right after Christmas like in January I've kind of just been slowly gathering ideas gathering decorations I kind of created a timeline with like different tasks to get done like each week and each month starting off with like creating the guest list figuring out where we wanted to do it the date creating the invitations theme color scheme all that kind of stuff and then you know decorations food that's really the main thing it's just getting all the stuff that you need sending out the invitations gathering up the rsvps you can kind of find like tentative timelines and to-do lists and stuff if you just like google it that is kind of like the best starting place i feel like we just kind of asked my sister what color scheme she wanted what kind of theme she wanted she wanted to do a love and bloom slash off the market theme kind of just like a lot of flowers not super specific to the theme we are doing a whole flower bar like a bouquet bar so the guests hit make a bouquet and take it when they leave we have like a whole arch board i feel like those are really trendy and then it has like a little flower thing like a little flower wreath thing on it lots and lots of flowers have it kind of later in the afternoon at 3 p.m so we have just like snacks like cake cookies charcuterie some non-alcoholic drinks shirley temples lemonade water if we were doing it in the morning we probably would have had like coffee and lemonade that is kind of plan kind of just had my sister send some tiktok and pinterest pictures we were kind of annoying and asked her a lot of questions like do you like this do you like that but i just wanted to make sure it was like what she wanted some brides are more involved than other brides currently it is 48 hours until the bridal shower so we're just kind of wrapping up some loose ends there are quite a few things to just kind of finish up we have the flowers getting delivered we need to just kind of get all the fresh groceries cheese for the charcuterie board fruits veggies all that kind of like fresh stuff we need to get today we just have like a whole list of things to do my sister is going to be in town tomorrow as well as one of the bridesmaids i'm going to show you guys the decorations that we have so far we'll just kind of get started with the things that we need to finish up here is everything that we have for the shower just kind of laid out in my living room it looks a little bit crazy starting over here we have the little wreath flower arch thing for the wooden arch board my mom diy'd this basically it's like a pool noodle and she just painted it white stuck all of this greenery and flowers it turned out really good i'll show you guys what it looks like with the actual on the wooden arch board i actually have a picture i think she just got everything from like hobby lobby and michael's she was thinking about sticking some of these on there as well we also have this little bride to be neon sign which is gonna hang on the wooden arch board this is from amazon anything from amazon i'll just link on my storefront and i'll have links below in the description it had like a little string so we just swapped that out for a white ribbon and it does have like a whole cord the cordless ones were like three times the price we're just going to try to conceal the cord the best that we can over here we have all of our signage my sister made these on canva actually you can just get these on etsy they'll just send you like a digital download and you can print it off from there and you can just buy like a whole pack for like eight dollars of pretty much all of these there's a ton of cute ones on etsy and if you need one that's super specific you can just buy that specific one and then we got all the frames from Hobby Lobby. We also have one for the flower bar. It says make your bouquet. I feel like the signage alone can take a lot of time to just figure out and get in the frame. Over here, we just have some pictures of the couple of my sister and her fiance to put around the room so people can kind of see some of their memories. I have fake tan on. I haven't rinsed it off yet like throughout the years. And we have a couple five by sevens and a couple four by six pictures. And then we also got some of these cute ones in the dollar section at Target. This kind of goes with our theme, but we wanted a few more. So we just did some plain white. I think these are also from Target. So yeah, we just have a bunch of like really cute little memories the proposal this was like their first picture together this is like a more recent picture right when she went to arkansas new york okay i'm scared i'm gonna like get fake tan on these picture frames their engagement pictures so we have all of those to kind of like decorate with just put around the room over here we have this little bride to be kind of banner that we got on amazon kind of not what i thought it was gonna be i don't know if she's gonna like that we have it if we need it up here we have like all the tablecloths and then we got these little pink chiffon like little things to kind of stick in the middle i saw some pictures on pinterest so we got these from hobby lobby we got one big one and it was super wide so we just cut it in half kind of put across both of the tables because we just didn't need it to be that wide and you kind of scrunch it up anyways the tablecloths are from amazon they're just plain white simple tablecloths the ones my mom had kind of were very vintage looking and had like a design so we just wanted more plain for the bouquet bar i think 
this is everything, but I'm not sure. But these are just like the little papers to wrap up the flowers in. And these are from Amazon. I'll link them below. These are just some scissors my mom had, but they're kind of cute for the flower bar. So we have these. These came with the papers, like little ribbons to wrap the flowers in. I think the flowers and vases is everything else. We do need to put a little trash can by there so people, when they cut their stems, can have like a place to put them. This is just all the vases for the flower bar. We're just doing like glass vases. My mom has, has some coordinating ones. Oh, also don't mind that it's on my walking pad. I was trying to find some place to like put that away. Here's all the games. We just bought these from Zazzle. On Zazzle, you can kind of customize and change if you don't like what they have, you can just kind of change the questions. Basket was from Target from like the dollar section. I'm honestly not sure where this basket is from. We might have already had this. This is for like the date night ideas. People can write down their date night ideas and stick them in here. I actually made these on PicMonkey. I was pretty surprised with how good they turned out. And then we have these dry erase boards. We have two of them from Target. Target. This is for the last game. You guys may have seen them on TikTok where you show like a video of the groom. You kind of ask him questions and he records himself answering questions. You see if the bride and groom have like the same answers, but we're just gonna do that game, but in person. So we have dry erase boards, just have some pens and these little Ikea containers that my sister and I got back like in high school. We used to put our makeup brushes in them. We have those for the pens. Lastly is over here. This is what we have so far. We have these napkins and plates. Um, that my sister got from Target. She saw these and thought they were really cute, but we thought we might need just a few more plates. So we actually saw these at Home Goods. My mom got these, but I think these are from Party City and they're just like plastic cups for the drinks. We're gonna do Shirley Temple's lemonade and water. And I think we have some more cups for just like the water. And then we got this little topper. I saw a picture on Pinterest and I thought something like this would be cute for the cake. We have some more pictures. This is like a little photo album of their like engagement pictures. And then over here is a little album of their proposal. And that's just like gonna be sitting on the tables for people to look through. That's kind of what we have. Here are some of the gifts. Kind of goes with the flower theme. I think this wrapping paper is from Hobby Lobby. My mom and I just kind of wrapped our gifts similarly. My mom just already had this paper, but it's like very wedding vibes. We just did that, super cute. The flowers have been delivered. This is just the first order. We ordered some from Sam's and some from Costco. This is the first order, which is from Sam's. Let's just cut these open and see what they look like. It looks like this is the baby's breath and the white hydrangeas. We're just gonna open these up and get them in some water. They look super cute, so I'm really excited for the rest of the flowers. We also ordered some pink hydrangeas and some roses, so that is what we'll be picking up tomorrow. Here are all the flowers in the vases. It looks so gorgeous already. I can't wait till we get all the other flowers. So we've got some baby's breath, some white hydrangeas, and then a few extras that didn't fit in the vases. We definitely don't have enough vases. We really underestimated how many flowers, like what it would actually look like in the vases. So we're just gonna run to Goodwill and see if we can find a few more like bigger vases because we already used up all of our bigger vases. We kind of just figured like one vase per type of flower. We're gonna see if we can find some more bigger vases. And then we have a nail appointment here in just a little bit. Wish us luck that we can get all this done. a success we found several vases like the exact size we were wanting just got done getting our nails done they look so cute this was exactly like the pinterest picture i saved love doing pink chrome whenever i have like anything special like going on a trip this is always my go-to because i love it it's always my favorite and then my mom did pink dip how do you like your nails they're super cute i love them the only thing missing is lauren we wish the bride to be was here with us getting her nails done she's working lauren we miss you we do miss you we wish you were here it's not the same like getting ready for your bridal shower without you here so we miss you now we're gonna go to costco and pick up the rest of the flowers i'm so excited the flowers we already got look so cute i can't wait to see all of them we're also gonna do a little bit of like grocery shopping get the all the rest of the food things that we need placed the flower order we kind of had to do it online and it was a little bit vague with the colors we don't know if the like pink roses like what shade of pink they're gonna be so we're a little bit nervous I'm hoping they're gonna be the right shade of like baby pink fingers crossed they're all the right shades of pink
apartment looks like a little flower shop right now. We have all the hydrangeas on my counter and then we have the baby's breath and roses back there. We're gonna actually put the roses in the fridge. So we're just leaving them like in the wrapping for right now. This is the current situation with the flowers. It's taken a while to kind of gather up all the flowers, get them cut, get them in the vases. We have these already, flower bar, it's pretty much done. The last step is to get the greenery because we're getting those from like a local place. Israeli Ruscus is the greenery that we're getting. That'll be like the last part for the flower bar. We did get some cheese for the charcuterie board at Costco. All the stuff that we don't really need like bulk of, we're actually just gonna go to Walmart and just pick up those last few things. to-do list was to figure out the balloons we ordered some from amazon but they were all just like really ugly to be honest the colors were just like didn't really look like the pictures we just been having a hard time kind of figuring out like what colors would look good we didn't want to like do a balloon art so we just wanted to do like a few like little clusters to set on the table we just stopped in party city and they actually had a really good selection and to blow up the balloons is a lot cheaper than the other places we went it's only a dollar fifty and they have clear ones white pearly ones regular white balloons she even took a white balloon and put a pink balloon balloon inside of it and it made like a really cute pastel pink we kind of figured that out I think we're gonna do the white and the clear and then tie pink ribbons this is like the inspo pick that I saw on Pinterest and my sister really liked this we're gonna have to come back and get those Saturday so they're nice and fresh for the shower not like deflated that is the plan for the balloons next up on the list is just getting the rest of the groceries and ingredients for the food so we're doing chocolate covered pretzels chocolate covered strawberries charcuterie shirley temple my mom's already kind of picked up some things here and there so it's really just getting like the fresh ingredients that we don't really have morning it is the next day the day before the bridal shower we're just gonna finish everything up today my sister and her best friend one of the bridesmaids are gonna be in town later I really need to clean my apartment it's not looking good my bathroom is a mess I'm just kind of like speed cleaning everything honestly my sister's gonna be in town in a few hours and then we're gonna head to a dress alteration appointment it's a little bit far away and there's like some good stores out there so we'll probably do just a little shopping grab some dinner it's quite a bit later and Lauren and Avery have arrived Lauren's not wearing any makeup so she's want to be in it we just went to the dress appointment and now we're just doing a little bit of shopping before going to dinner. We just had some dinner at Shake Shack and now we are going in Trader Joe's, kind of just for fun. I don't think we really need any more flowers. We originally were gonna just get any like extra flowers that we need, but I don't think we really need any. It is the day of the shower. I literally woke up at like 6 a.m. this morning to finish cleaning my apartment. I had all this laundry to put away. It is now 8 a.m. We're gonna go pick up the balloons. I just feel like we keep having to go and get last minute things. Lauren and Avery are now here. They got here yesterday. I really vlogged much yesterday. Pretty much just prep all of the food, like actually get the charcuterie board together, make the chocolate covered pretzels, the chocolate covered strawberries. We we're gonna do that last night. We figured it would just be better to do it today. Here are the balloons. We did all white. I just went and got coffees for everybody. Just some ice vanilla lattes so we can have a little fuel for the day. Lauren and Avery just got to my apartment. We're gonna prep all the food. So I'm gonna bring these inside. We're gonna get started. Right now we are just working on tying the ribbons onto the balloons. Lauren and Avery are working on the chocolate covered strawberries. We're gonna make a few flower arrangements to just kind of like set on the tables to use as decorations. I'm gonna make a little flower arrangement. It's kind of like an example we're gonna make with flower bar. Let's take a pink hydrangea. Here are the finished arrangements. Super cute, it's put on the table. We're all just kind of freshening up and getting ready. The shower starts in a couple hours. Pretty much everything is prepped, except for like what we have to do right before. Just took a shower and got ready. And then we're just gonna be moving everything over to the clubhouse. And then we're gonna make like the charcuterie board like right before so it's nice and fresh. Just a few last minute things. This is what my garage looks like. Everything is just like prepped in here, ready to take to the clubhouse. That is what we're doing right now. <laughs> 
is gonna be the flower bar here at the back. Over here, we're gonna have all the food. Corner, we're gonna have like the gifts, like her little gift set up, I guess. This is the outfit. Yeah. Show my vlog your outfit. Where, where are they from? Kansas City Definitely a hit. It went great. It was fun. We had a good run on the food. I was too tired after the shower to film an outro. I did want to tell you guys how the shower went. Just some things that I would do different if I was doing it again. Overall, I think the shower went really well. I think my sister really liked it. It was so fun celebrating her and Tanner. Tanner, her fiance, came to the shower as well. I think that made it so much fun. We got to celebrate both of them. We got to have both of them being part of the game since all the games were questions about both of them as a couple. They kind of asked the questions for the games and asked the crowd like, do you think we've been dating this long or this long? Who had this? That was really fun. I really tried to vlog as much as I could, but I was like kind of out of it and it was just going by so fast and I was trying to talk to everyone. I'm sorry if I did not get a lot of footage today of. I obviously did like the PowerPoint game and I think that game was like a little bit long. I can't remember how many questions I had, but I'll put them in the description. I would honestly, if you have more than one game, do like half of those questions. If that is the only game, it's probably fine. Everyone seemed like they were pretty into that game. Oh, like what is she gonna say? Or oh, I think he's gonna say this. Like everyone seemed pretty in, like into it. My mom and Avery were cutting the cake and getting that all like served at that time. It worked out fine. Towards the end, it was like, like when is this gonna be done? How many questions are there? It was just a lot of questions and a lot of games at that point. It was just a lot of the time was taken up by game. Two hours goes by really quick. But it wasn't like bad. Everybody loved the flower bar. Everyone thought it was just such a cute and fun idea. Lauren and Tanner love plans. So everyone thought that we came up with that idea because they love plans. I was like, I did not come up with that. It's just on TikTok and stuff. We were getting a lot of credit for it being such a cute idea. I was really flattered that everyone just like loved it. It made everything looks so cute. I do think the wooden arch board was a really good idea. That turned out really good. And then with like the little bride sign, it was just like everyone like taking pictures by it. That part was not super expensive. As far as the food, a lot of the food and drinks did not get eaten or drank. The drinks especially, they were kind of back behind. They were kind of hidden, I guess. We didn't have time to like pre-pour them or like get ice in the cups and make it like easier for people to get the drinks. Literally just ran out of time. And so I feel like for that reason, like nobody really got the drinks. The lemonade, Shirley Temples and, wa and fruit water just kind of got wasted like nobody really drank any of it drinks you could just have one drink option or if you're gonna do the drinks make sure to give yourself enough time to have it all like served and like on a table and for the food i feel like we had too many food options nobody ate the chocolate covered strawberries or chocolate covered pretzels because we already had cake and cookies and so it was just like too many options i feel like we could have just stuck with the cookies that seemed to be the most popular so i feel like maybe 
one dessert option and then like charcuterie or something i feel like we could have just had less i think we just had too much and that was like one of the things that was like a lot of the time and money if you're planning one you could just make it easier on yourself and do less the actual bridal shower was from three to five you guys saw we started getting everything together like we literally went and got the balloons and stuff at like eight and we were like prepping stuff like all morning but we really started physically carrying it over there at like i think 1 p.m one to two we were getting everything carried over there and then like two o'clock we were finishing up setting the tables and getting the charcuterie to board that was like not even enough time like we literally ran out of time just give yourself enough time like it literally takes more time than you think keep in mind my mom and i like set up the tables and put everything on the tables i already knew how we wanted to set them up taking it all down may have even taken more time than setting it all up some of the stuff needed to get like bubble wrap so it didn't get broken like load up all their gifts the floor was all sticky and there was crumbs everywhere so we had to clean everything it took a long time like we literally weren't even done until like six or seven if you are renting out an event space that is really strict that's just something to keep in mind with like the setup and the cleanup a lot of venues you just rent it for the day so it probably wouldn't be an issue i think it turned out really cute a lot of the guests sent pictures of their bouquets when they got home and were like we had so much fun like blah 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 it was just a really special day it was so much fun if you guys are hosting a bridal shower i hope you found this helpful if you're a bride and you're getting inspiration then congratulations so i hope you guys all enjoyed this video it's a little different than my other videos but i hope you guys enjoyed definitely give it a big thumbs up if you did i will have everything linked below in the description definitely comment below any tips that you have with like hosting a bridal shower or any kind of like event like this thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in a couple days for my next one bye